Yeah, Mama Song for the letter, aka Heavy Machine. Yes, Opo Wompo, me a Kuma Wood Captain Smart. Oh, make it come out natural. Yes, so pet videos, Papa, pa, and our news. And now say, hey, entertainment, hey, Dan, quick, we have what TV. Go YouTube, now go subscribe, subscribe, or comment, and like it. Let's know what I Yes, Dan, quick, we have what TV. Oh, one, I hear it. Yes. To subscribe on natural audio. Thank you. Clutchy, uh, western, east and west. Dambai, mm. crossing the Oti River. We were in the ferry and the party guys took a canoe. And the canoe was faster than the ferry. Of course, yeah. Going round mm. and you know, playing the drums and everything. It was a beautiful scene. We see the Oti River so still. So I asked my son to take pictures for me and put it on the net. From Friday to Friday, 384,000 viewers that shot. What have I done to the people of It's me? complete tourism. Good. And they started calling my son. Oh, can we have a party on it? What is the distance from Accra to Oti? So now I got to Krachi West. And I saw that during the champions time, they had an air strip. So for tourism, people to work uh, travel from Accra to Oti for four hours. We'll do the airstrip where the flight will be about 30 minutes. This is creativity. Yeah. Okay, so if you sit here and tell me, yeah, me or not, until I am poor, you have poor mind. <laughs> So, very well. So, we're still spending some time with uh, Ohene A. Japan here in the studio of 91. Point seven megahertz. We've having we're having a discussion. He's actually on a tour. You know the showdown work happened in uh, the Ashanti region and other places. I've seen a number of videos. I mean, those of you who are monitoring us on Facebook, I'm sure by now you'll be seeing some of the videos from the walks. I mean, all over the country and how it materialized. Now he's here in the northern region. We're having a conversation with him. Now, honourable, let's look at something. Something happened within your party in the last few months or few weeks. Okay. That has to do with the exit of uh, Alan Kojuk chairman thing. Right. I know you have spoken with it. I've, 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 I've listened to a tape, I mean, during your uh, walk in Kumase. And you lamented over the, the whole matter. I know for sure it's going to have an impact negatively on your party. Let's take us through. Supporters of Alan chairman thing, how you can rope them on board and what... I mean, you will do going forward. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, yes, go ahead, sir. Mm. This great opportunity for me to appeal to the supporters of Alan mm. to join Kene Japan. If they vote for me, I'll be able to bring Honorable Chiramatin back into the party. Mm. Now, let me explain it. Look, general election of this election, the primaries, you need 50% plus one, not 51% plus one. General election, you need 50 plus one. So everybody is important. So anybody who says that, oh, Alan Okwa Onko, oh, he can go, then it means the person is not a politician. Mm. Whether you like it or not, Alan appeals to the early Ashantis. Adam Alan appeals to the nation. The people who want quiet people like him, not like Kene Japan. Okay? Some people say, no, Kene Japan is like Rollins. He's mm. too harsh. And even uh, some even say that Trump. Yeah, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> right. And some people who do not like the Trump style or Rollins style mm. will tell to Alan. So we have to be careful saying that, oh, he can leave. We don't care. If you say Alan can leave and you don't care, it means you are not a politician. So I'm appealing to all the Alan supporters that they should come on board. I'm promising them that I will be able to bring Honorable Chiramatin back. I've spoken to him, but not at length, pleading with him to stay calm. For us to see the results of the November 4th. Mm. So, Alan supporters, I know he has a lot of supporters here. And okay. to tell you the truth, if he had not resigned, 
I wouldn't have known his strength. Yeah. I wouldn't have known his strength. But when he resigned and I started meeting Alan supporters, and I said, Ish, maybe he has made a mistake. <laughs> because the survey the system did showed that this primaries, if Alan was part, nobody was going to get 50%. Really? Yeah. They've done it several times. But they said the special delegates congress, I mean, congress was really something that demonstrated where the, the winner is actually leading to. And for that matter, you even came second. And Alan came third. Yeah. Which, which was described as most embarrassing for him. My brother, let me tell you what mm. went on. Let's see if it will go on like this again. With the intimidation. Mm. Especially in the five northern regions. Uh, Ashanti region, Volta region, these seven regions, the intimidation that went on. And again, you have given me opportunity to talk to the delegates well. You know, super delegates, 945 or so, mm -hmm. some executives got as much as or as high as 100,000 Ghana cities, which is 1 billion old cities. For TNT? Whatever they call it. <laughs> Some got Navara pickups. I have the pictures here. Mm. If they dare me, I'll put it on social media for everybody to see. I think yesterday you showed it in Tolong. Good. They took brand new pickups, Navara. And Navara, like the Mitsubishi pickup I brought to Yana, is $40,000. Mm. So $40,000 multiplied by 11 is 440000 Okay? In Ashanti region, some got as high as 150,000. For just an individual with a single vote? Yes. So I'm coming to that. <laughs> then, some of the chairmen got Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. So why wouldn't he win? This time, I am advising all delegates, pulling station executives, also to take at least 100,000. If not, don't vote for them. Because single vote, I can a Japan with loud mouth sitting here, I have one vote. The polling station executive has one vote. Your chairman has one vote. Everybody has one vote. We put it together and it's 208,000. No single individual has two votes. And therefore, if an individual takes 100,000, 150,000, Land Cruiser Prado, Navara pickup, why would they come to you and give you 2000 And what they are saying is, okay, we are going to give you 1000 first. When you go, take a picture of your vote and come for another 1000 It's a big insult. Mm. And we are not going to allow anybody to take a phone there. Who sees your phone? That's where the showdown is going to come in. So, so this time around, the party is not going to decentralize the voting. Like no, what constituency by constituency. Mm. Yeah, we do it. Mm. Because it's too big. Constituency by constituency. But you already complained about the intimidation tactics. Your support base in the northern region or the five regions, regions of the north. You are based in Accra. Right. And how are you, put, what efforts are you putting in place? No, I will sure? not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you my strategy. Mm. <laughs> you, you would want to display another showdown. I mean, on that. Now look, me, I'm a man of peace. Oh. Mm. But I always fight for my this rights. This is a nice man. But then it appears sometimes you easily, you, you get a very short fuse. Yeah, because. I don't like cheating. Mm. Anybody who tries to cheat me, I fight back. Mm. As simple as that. And let me tell you something. In Ghana here, they misconstrue confidence to be arrogant. Yeah. Because I have confidence telling you the problems in this region. People will come and say, oh, Kenny Japan, he's too known. Mm. Oh, Kenny Japan, he talks too much. Mm. They say that, they, they, they say, I mean, Kennedy Japan... He's not a diplomatic figure. He's not someone who is fit for the presidency because he's not diplomatic. And uh, you need to have a diplomatic well, well, character. Uh, diplomatic character. You have, are you telling me you've had diplomatic presidents throughout mm. and you are still poor? <laughs> Your pocket is empty. Diplomatic, mm. diplomatic. If the person is not diplomatic but can put money in your pocket, can put food on your table, which one do you prefer? The man who will be bold to tell you what is wrong is wrong. 
and the man who oh good to see you good to see you good to see you good to see you and your pocket is empty and you go begging your children your daughters who go and do kayayu which one do you prefer my brother so he's neither here nor there we need a man who is straightforward a man who can crack the whip we are not going to beg anybody we all have to make sure we are disciplined we are honest and we are patriotic and move this country as simple as that and this is what they term it as oh somebody who is not diplomatic then so be it because we have been diplomatic 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 and we have all this vast land here and we can't develop it and you are telling me uh, because of uh, we are poor and uh, who says you are poor you are very rich so now now let, let's look at another angle because if eventually you becomes the flag bearer of your party it means that you are running against your main opposition the ndc right now they said you have said so many terrible things about your own party and selling them to the N ndc the, what what terrible things i i whatever you are saying mm -hmm. are you saying that ndc they are not Ghanaians and they are not feeling whatever I'm no saying. but it appears your party and its leadership they are massaging the issues but yeah, you, how do you, you see you see mm. you massage the issues mm. but people have taken a decision that they know your massage and they are just waiting patiently for you on December 7th and they vote you out. Sometimes I come out boldly and if you listen to me carefully and change things around, we have about 14 months or 15 months to go. 14 months. Yeah, 14, yeah. 14 months. Maybe within these 14 months, whatever criticisms I level against my party, if they listen to me carefully and make changes, it might probably change the minds of the voters before December 2024. So they have to take it kindly and listen to, without due respect to the nonsense Kenya Japan is saying, and say to themselves if it's valid, he has a valid point, is good or not. But if you rule me out completely and say that, oh, Kenya Japan, I know where you're coming from. When they say, I said, say, look we have mounted a platform and said that oh when we are exchange when your exchange rate is what we uh, your fundamentals are weak mm -hmm. your exchange rate will expose, will expose you. you and today you also come the exchange rate is worse you are an imf right how would you go and defend it and are you saying that ndc people are not Ghanaians and they don't know what is going on and i'm the one who is inciting them please that is fallacy of argumentum ad hominem. Mm. <laughs> now, another another portion is that I have heard someone on social media indicate that the Zongos are angry with you based on the issue that happens uh, with Ahmed Swali. You displayed oh. his photograph on social media My and, brother. and apparently allegedly got him killed. My brother, I have more Zongo supporters than any of the candidates, whether you are from here or not. Because I have always respected the Zongo people. I've given them help. That is why I'm called Sheikh Osman. Oh, okay. I've My name is... Before. Oh, please. Then you are not a good Muslim. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm a Christian. Are you a Christian? Yes, you are still I'm... not a good Northerner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I, this is the first time I'm yeah. hearing this. Sheikh Ashalbutu gave me the title... Sheikh Osman. Yeah, Sheikh Osman. Oh, okay. And I, I asked see. him why. He said in Islam, the only man who took care of his fellow Muslims mm. was called Osman. That is why he conferred the title of me. Oh, okay. He tells you the assistant, look, how can Zongo people be mad at me? It's propaganda. I'm a swally. They know the killers. They themselves, you. They are, we are in government. Mm. You have the security and everybody. They've done their investigation. Why don't they bring her? If I show somebody's picture, does it mean that... Uh, you know, Anas mm. reported me to America. Yes. A senator in Georgia. Uh, and we had reports that you were picked up in America when you arrived. I picked... Who? Yeah, that the security in America picked you up. How? We had some of those reports. How? Mm. They picked me up for what? Because Anas, Anas had apparently reported you to... Oh, it's not true. Mm. I was delayed as an airport for them to check everything. When oh, they okay. checked... There was nothing. When I even gave my green card up, I applied for the visa. This time, I go to America with visa. 
Why did they give me a visa if I'm a murderer? They've done the investigation and everything. The, 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 the congressman that Anas reported me to came here with Nancy Pelosi and frantically looking for me, he asked the minister uh, environment, uh, a free, Dr. Free, Serioso, to come and look for me. I met him and this man told me, he, I have his card. He said, you know, I've done my investigation. I've realized you have the same problem as I have in America. America, they call me a madman because I speak the truth as it is. This is the congressman who came here himself, the one that Anas reported me. So I don't, I'm not worried about whatever they are saying because I know I'm clean. But for Zongo people, anybody who tells you that Zongo people don't like me is a lie. I monitored your interview uh, when you visited America recently, where you mentioned the killer of Ahmed Suwali. Yeah. I mean, why? I mean, are you being tagged with this and then you've been quiet and just only talk about the securities? They are aware, the securities are aware of, I mean, uh, everything that you are giving and nothing is happening and your name keeps coming down. Yes. I'm worried about it because. That is why I'm annoyed. Because MPP, they know the truth, but they always want to sacrifice Canada Japan. I won't do it again. Mm. I won't do it again. You are sitting here asking me this question. They have done their investigation. They know, or even if they don't know, they should bring the outcome for Ghanaians to know. Mm. Where is the outcome? Why have they been quiet? Are they saying to Ghanaians that Ahmed Swale, when he was killed, the police didn't do any investigation. The security didn't do any investigation. If they did, let us know the outcome. If it is Kenya Japan. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, my brother. But you see, MPP, they always want to use you and dump you. Hmm. I will not allow them to dump me anymore. I won't do it. I will not sacrifice for MPP, for my children, my family, generation, to be humiliated but i'm just I'm, uh, we are picking signals that you are just on your way to being dumped because some of them believe that you are losing this elections hands down about and that be your look, ending, your political uh, career. let me tell you without me mpp can win election you don't mean it i'm telling you you know how many people are begging me you know the money that they've offered me and i've refused for what offered me to step down and if i step down we'll lose so no the sacrifices the party people have made i cannot selfishly take that amount of money and leave them to their fate no so whoever is telling you my brother mm. it is not they how can mpp dump me mm. if they dump me they'll go to opposition mm. okay now because mm. look we all need each other if i win i still need a vice president i need other contestants that is why i don't want to rubbish vice president but his people always play dirty games and all those things and i always talk to him if you don't know i'm telling you today mm. i would always talk to him through samia uku he will call and i'll speak to him this didn't go well this is a you see if uh, yeah, i will fight back mm. all these things go because i need him okay and he himself admits that he needs Kenya japan I want us to get back to your policies and then uh, the, the things, especially so far as the northern region is concerned. Ever since you got in here, especially there was a, a, this there was this report. I don't know whether you cited it when you visited the Yana's palace. Mm. Uh, we told that the Yana was not really happy with you. But later, I think this morning, the secretary of the Yana just sent me a press release uh, to indicate that the Yana never said any of those things. When you heard it, how, how what was the feeling in you? No, I just laughed. Mm. I said, because I know what happened over there. Yeah, no, they didn't say that. But my brother, let me advise the media. Mm -hmm. Look, whatever you are doing, Ghana, it is not soldiers. It is not politicians. Any civil war that will happen in Ghana here will come from media. Listen to me. Look at me carefully. Eyeball to eyeball. My brother, your reportage will bring war. To this country let me give you an example if you don't know go and read about rwanda it was one false reportage that a media man put out there within 48 hours 800 000 people died 
in Rwanda. You guys have to be very careful the way you report a. You see, if he likes a candidate, I don't have a problem. That's democracy. You have a choice. A radio station, you tell to a candidate, no problem. But speak the truth. Now that Yana Spalis has issued a disclaimer or whatever, what is the reputation of that radio station? It's gone down. Mm. People will not take you serious again. Young man never said anything like that. But they put it out there. Instead of praising Kenya Japan, you have over 20 MPC plus vice president. Nobody has gone to Yana to give him a pickup. I come from the south to give me a pickup. And you go and disgrace me. Mm. And look, me, delegates, listen to me. I'm a pace setter. Whatever I do, they follow. I know next uh, this Sunday now they want to go to Yana. So all this time, if Kenya Japan had not visited Yana, wouldn't they have gone there? I'm a pace setter. So they should stop peddling false allegations, lies. It will help this country. But I mean, you know, I just love the very one I read. I said, oh, please, it's one of those, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm politically matured, 35 years experience. This also indicates that I don't react easily. When I'm coming out, it means it has gone on for several days or months. Then one day, I just react. All these things that are happening, whatever they are saying, nobody is saying anything. Party, The party has very, very un been unfair to me. I've, I've meant not to respond. I've just given an example. Of late, the second lady is in Ashanti region. Mm. All the things she has said about me, the party has not heard anything. She said she, they didn't mention your name. That's what they say. That's what they are saying. Mm. That's what they are saying. Yeah. Your so, name wasn't been mentioned in her comments. So, so can I also go there and say what I know without mentioning it? That one, they will know whom the person is is referring to Kenya Japan is referring to that's unfairness but I've decided not to respond I've decided not to respond I'm only drawing your attention from this and that it. you know all be the MPP but I leave it to their fate mm. I, I will we'll be wrapping up I know you are going to meet delegates so I will not speak spend much of your time but uh, someone wants us to uh, ask you a question on the issue of your in, in, uh, actually operational we can send fresh products, vegetables, straight to UK and European market within five hours. Because of the cost of processing the maize into ethanol. So 12,500 acres. Maize farm will give you 200,000 liters a day. Ethanol. You need 50 million dollars for this investment. And my brother, employment of the 50 million dollars is 2,000. Mm. 2,000 northerners will have a job. You even have the man labor or the skills that even people from the south, that's what I mean, will come here looking for jobs. So what we have to do to contain this is that every factory I visited in China and India, they have houses in there mm. for the workers. Okay? Apart from cassava, uh, look, cassava, we can use it in China and uh, Thailand. They use cassava for 32 different products. Mm. We have my plant at Atebubua Mountain. We produce starch. And the starch is more important than gold, which means cassava is more important than gold. We can do it in Yendi all the way to Pandai and here. Mm. One, we use this starch for drugs, the drugs that we, yeah. when we are sick with it, every drug you take, there is starch content in it. Mm. So the demand in the world is so high that when we have this land here, my brother, don't say we are poor. We don't have directions. Mm. Two, we use the same cassava for brewing. The beer, Guinness, malt. We use cassava for poultry, feeds. 
we use cassava for tapioca tapioca we use cassava flour we use cassava for a lot of things maize the same thing you are here i'm sure you have not even tasted corn oil before corn. I cannot see. good yeah <laughs> but one of the most expensive oils in the world is corn mm. and you produce corn here we only have to irrigate the lands the arable lands we tracted mechanized farming to get good yield mm. so that we can produce corn oil flour a lot of things conflicts so many things we can do so my, my brother we are not poor soya bean mm. you grow soya bean here and indians will come and buy it go and process it and bring it back to american market your share not the share butter it comes from, back from america when they sell they also add something in a package a tube like this is 700 ghana cities what is wrong with us every company coming from outside to buy the share butter if you don't have a processing factory here we will not allow you to buy the share butter mm. we will process it here and add value no look the richest cream that you use to apply to this body without share butter in it it's not expensive it's not rich so we have this gift from God. Let me ask you one silly question. Mm. On my way from Damango to Bole, that was the first time I tasted Tama. Oh, okay. I it's didn't Shainat. know that it was that sweet. Shainat, yeah. Yeah. And all these five regions, everywhere you go, you see Tama. They pick it just like that. Mm. And we don't have Tama. Even, even they are felling the trees. We'll stop them mm. because it's a valuable tree that they don't know the value. Mm. The tama, my brother, we don't have tama fruit juice mm. in all the five northern regions. And you say you are poor. They only use the nuts, probably for all. Yeah, the, the, but the tama the, juice alone is so sweet. Even if you are lazy, take tama and orange and mix it on the table like this. Organic. And organic is more expensive than what we produce in my constituency i have orange processing factory that i do concentrate export to spain and brazil okay so with the tama juice and orange juice put together fresh we call it organic and it's more expensive than the concentrate ones what are we doing so there's so many things we can do in the five northern regions from plains and water region to feed the whole africa honorable you have a lot in mind and but but i will need to give you some space to meet your delegates and the messages i'm receiving here i wish you could get an opportunity to just listen to three people uh, please. i mean and what they, they will have to, i mean whether please. they have accepted the message or not please and and that is the tamale for you so zero two zero 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 six zero seven six six you can just uh, share one or two with honorable kennedy japan he's here with us in the studio uh he's still on tour and i mean it, i must admit that so far with all the candidates that uh i vi are vying for this i think you carry a message along because i've not yet heard any message anywhere maybe probably somebody had and i have not i haven't uh because i'm in for development so i, I want I mean, to make the northness proud mm. i want to make them feel good mm. so uh le let's listen to our first caller good morning yeah, good morning. Tell me your name and go ahead. Uh, uh, um, Very quickly. Yeah, my greeting to His Excellency. I'm an NDC man. Yesterday, I filled your station when uh, Kennedy was in Kerala. I, I fell love in Kennedy at the point. Ah, okay. You watch our life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, From I Tolo. watch your yeah. uh, life, life program. I love him. It's the first time that MPP man gives the policies that I, I put into my heart. The way he speaks, I love him. Tell him that I knew Regina, I love him. When he wins, I will change my mind. I'm an NDC man. But I love him. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, this is the second time I'm hearing this. Someone says that the moment he hears Kennedy won, then he's go no matter what he will do, he will do to win. I mean, to 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 vote. I think that, that that's a, a uh, hello, yeah, hello, yeah. yeah. Yes, hello. Good morning. Hello. Quick one. Good morning to you and Kennedy at Japan. Please, I want to meet you. I that. Oh. I like to do that. Say that again. 
I say I want to meet him. Why is he doing that? Oh, uh, 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 maybe probably if you get to the the center uh, where they are. I mean, I think not hall, eh? Why he call? Why he call? He's going to why he call from here. Yes, good mo good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, quickly, you are the very final person. Mm, uh, I'm from Tamale North. I'm calling him right. Mm. Uh, yes, I'll tell you to greet my father or my. I happy the way. The Honorable Kennedy here has been and talked. I'm happy. I'm very, 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 very proud. Master, when you come and see the old people and northern region, everybody is happy. So me, I pay God to give for, uh, I pay to give to Honorable Alan Kodo Chairman to lead the NPP party in 2024. No, this, is, this is Kennedy Japono. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Sorry. Not Alan, Kennedy in Japan. Yeah, I'm happy. You know something? Kennedy, Alan, or uh, Kennedy uh, uh, at Japan, you don't want to tell somebody lies. The whole I know him. Kennedy, when you open the mouth and talk, Master, when you, when you trace it, uh, you may never see the penny last in that is. When you say you do something, you do it. But uh, since last year, you tell the uh, Yana say, uh, Yana, I'll give you the pickup to go to any someday you go and you take it and go. But I give her, I will give her to you. But now, when you see the vice president, MPs, the northern, northern MPs or vice president, hey, I'm a northern, I'm a northern. You can't help your, 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 your chief. You, have, you can't help your, your everybody. Okay, thank you, you thank you. Honorable, if we allow this phone call, you hear a lot of <laughs> things and then it will... You know, be, let me uh, yeah. finalize it. You know what? Hmm. My brother, yeah. some say, though, he's not a presidential material, as you said. But a presidential material is who? Mm -hmm. The one who can negotiate for businesses, for infrastructure to come into this country. Let me give you three things. Mm -hmm. In President Kufo's time, I and my partner with a company called Super K, we brought the financing from China. To construct the buoy dam at the cost of 640 million dollars two the three billion dollars that we arranged for ghana and unfortunately nana kufuadu lost the election and at Amos took over the ghana gas plant that they built was from the three billion dollars that we took from china development bank mm. cdb again this interchange here Anybody who says he brought it is a liar. If it's not Kenny Japan and his partner. Really? Um, wow. Yes. No, this is, I mean, maybe yes, you need to say this again. Yes, and let me repeat it. Anybody who says that he brought the Tamale interchange is a liar. Let me tell you what happened. We went to China. The delegation was led by the Vice President, His Excellency. And we went. We negotiated with different banks. They finally settled on China Railway. Mm. Our company that we introduced to the team was Sino Hydro. When they gave the contract to China Railways, they couldn't mobilize the funds. So they came back to us because Sino Hydro has a record of the Buidam. It was easy with experience, meaning they know the terrain. So it was easy for China to approve the loan of $2 billion. So it's my company. My company, Super K. We represent Sino Hydro. Oh, okay. And Sino Hydro is the one constructing this overpass here. So who says he brought it? Who? I mean, but you see, I don't talk. I'm a businessman. All I care is Ghana developing. So I don't talk. But the way things are going, oh, he's not a presidential material. Oh, he's not a northerner. I'm not a northerner. But I bought generator for Tamale Hospital. Teaching hospital. Yes. Okay. I'm not a northerner. I facilitated this overpass. I'm not a northerner. But when the Tamale chief. That's the overlord. Yeah. Initiated education fund. Mm. I'm oh, the, oh, the only. The Kwema educational fund. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the only politician in Ghana who contributed 10,000 those days. Ever since, no politician from the north has contributed even a city. I'm not a northerner. 
I gave two guys scholarship to go, um, pay their fees to go to Canada. Now one is coming back to contest. When you go to Savannah, the assistant secretary. Okay. Uh, what's his name? Mayoyo. 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 I picked him when he was, you know, his height, a bodyguard. And a, so I asked him, look, farm boy, what are you doing? So oh, I have admission to go to training college. For two years, I've not had money. Hey, you know how much it costs? 400 CDs. I said, what? And because of 400 CDs, handsome boy like that, you are being a bodyguard or security. Come on, I'll pay the fees. And I paid the fees till he finished. Finished his best, he has done his master's. And you come back and say that at all costs, he has to support somebody who is from here. When he was being a security, didn't you know? Or didn't they have uh, nothing politicians here to help him? I come from the north to help him go through education to get his masters and I will force him. And he said, no, he has conscience. Mm. Let me tell you, sometimes our gratefulness is so painful. Look, I campaign with Honorable Farouk. I gave his constituency. Yendi. 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 Okay. Yeah. And I gave him 20 corn mill machines for his constituents. Wow. Prior to the elections. Yes. I campaigned for Aziz. Mill. Okay. Yes. I gave uh, okay. Bolanana. Is that how you call it? Mm, Bolanana, yes. Yeah. yeah. The young Lana. Okay. Yeah. I gave him a brand new pickup. Every woman who came to the rally that day, I gave her 200 Ghana CDs. All the women? Yes. Lined up. Wow. I went to Tolong. Habib constituency. Habib's constituency. I left there 1 a.m. Show him the pictures. Hmm. 1 a.m. Uh, Upper West, Lambusi. They written or they marked him red. Means it was no go area. No win. Hmm. So no pickup. I gave him pickup. For the first time, we won the seat. But nobody gives me credit. Ah, honorable, the first time you made this statement, I know the time is not there, but the first time you made this statement, yeah. I have heard some of them indicate that, I mean, you couldn't have said that made them to, that uh, your support made them to win those. Oh, statements. yeah? Okay, we ah. are, we, look, we are, we are waiting again. We are coming. <laughs> 2024 is coming. So if that is the word they use so ungrateful, we are, I'm just quiet. We are waiting. Okay? But at least, if they didn't win, they admit that I did those things for them. Mm. My brother, did they admit that I did those things because for them? Because I think we even had an interview. It's just that my producer is not here. I, because I recall very well that we kept it on social media. We kept I am here. Interview. I am here to tell you. Let them call. Mm. Let them call and say that I'm lying. Mm. Call the ND chairman. Yesterday I was there. Mm. Is it two days ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. I was there. I repeated it. Mm. Okay, so I, I I think those of you on social media, you can see this is a, a photograph uh, when Kennedy I, I went, to Yana, uh, went to Yana with uh, the Honorable, that's uh, Farouk Aliu Mahama at the palace. And I think that's what he's making reference to. So those of you on Facebook watching us, I'm sure you can see that on, on, on the So Facebook nobody page. has contributed, uh, even mentioned my name in this northern region. Yesterday we were there when uh, uh, Habib, Habib was speaking. Mm -hmm. He made mention of it. Mm -hmm. He made mention of it. Mm. Yeah. So th those are some of the images uh, you can see on. Uh, okay, that's a meow. Okay. That, that's a you know, so but, my brother, but how, how, come, how come you have not been able to convince them to follow you or give you this support? Well, they said you are not a presidential material. No. Okay. No, Farouk is my very good friend. And listen, when I asked him, mm. any time I was with Farouk, he would call the mother and I'll speak to her. Mm. And she say, Look, I'm leaving. Your brother. Into your care. Take good care of your brother. I say, Yes, ma'am. So when I asked Farouk, he said, honestly, when the mother was dying, she told him that whatever he would do to help Vice President win, he has to do it. Mm -hmm. And he has to honor 
his mother's last wish. Okay. Yeah, I said, fine. If you are not dirty and you recognize me that I'm a brother to you, I don't have a problem. But the things they say about me, that is what hurts. What they say about me, they'll be punished one day. That one, I assure you, I'm not scared of them. Punishment can be simple. I won't come here. Do your own campaign. Kenya Japan did not contribute. So do your own thing. Now, they have positions that they can take care of themselves. But look, the same thing happened. Let me tell you. In 2016, what I did for MPP to win, when they want power, they say, oh, Kenya Japan, whatever favor he does, he goes out there talking. So we are going to do it ourselves. You see the number of seats we lost. We see from 169 to 137. Even that, I got to know that last minute when I went to National Council and I saw the way they were trying to disqualify some candidates and I resisted. Mm. And I went around campaigning. I went to 17 constituencies. 16 of them won. Can you imagine if I had not gone there? Take away 16 from 137. What would have happened? Hmm. It would have been miserable. Good. So now me, I'm quiet. Kare Japan is useless. He's nobody. So I'm quiet. Hmm. I'm so doing my let, campaign. Let's, let's, let's take your last words for the delegates who are maybe so far away. Delegates who are far away and listening to me. I'm begging you. If you sell yourself cheap, they will buy you cheap. Some people have received huge sums of money. This election, November 4th, you have the same vote with the person. So if they don't give you 100,000, don't vote for them. Vote for Kenya Japan for Development for Life. Wow. Yes, yeah. 1 billion OCDs. If they don't give it to every delegate, vote against them. Mm. Because 945, they have the same vote as you. Some of them got as high as Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, which is about hundred thousand dollars, which is about one point two billion a million cities. And you they'll come to you and give you two thousand and tell you, okay, we are giving you thousand. Go vote and take a picture, then come for thousand. It's a big insult. If they are able to give you hundred thousand, vote for them. If they are not able to vote for, uh, give you 100,000, vote against them and vote for Kenya Japan for development. Again, going around and telling this story, some chairman here are saying that they never received that amount, which means even your own people don't respect you. They take mm. you cheap and they didn't give you that money. They get picked up. Look, do you have the pictures here? Show you. Pickups. Cape Coast. Say... Central region. They gave some chairman Navarra pickups. Mm. He will show you the pictures. Okay, so those of you who are on Facebook, you can come. Know, it seems Honorable has a lot of evidence to... No, yeah, there. I don't lie. There's a I lot of evidence. Please, back in there. show but I'll tell the chairman mm. happily smiling. And you are from the north. <laughs> and they give you 10,000, 20,000. You see how they cheat. It means that what they have done to you, the chairman here, mm. means that when you vote for your own brother, he will take you for granted. Okay, so those of you on Facebook, uh, yes. you can look at it. This yes. one of the, the, the this is one you of. You see the how she's smiling? Yeah. And yeah. you are from the north, you can't smile. S sitting, sitting in one. All the northern chairman who did not do pickups this time when they come demand a pickup because you are equally important. Demand a pickup. They cannot cheat you all the time. Oh, my brother, my brother. Then they will give you peanuts. Then they go to the south and they splash cash. Hmm. over there so they are taking you for granted so the people in the north vote for somebody who can bring development hmm. to this area and no amount of intimidation should change you hmm. those chairmen who were intimidated and they went there to vote today you see some received pickups you didn't even know I've shown you hmm. they received pickups Ashanti region some chairman got as high as 150,000 hmm. 150,000 yes. Ghana cities. Yes. Wow. 1.5. Wow. Billion. So, yeah. So now, if they are coming to you, delegates, take 100,000. If they give you 100,000, vote for them. Any short, anything short of 100,000, 99,000, don't vote for them. Vote for Kenya Japan. 
Honorable, Thank you. I, we are grateful that you could spend some time with us this evening. And I know for sure, uh, those of you who make your way to the Waik Hall, you will be able to meet uh, Honorable one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I, I see a lot of messages and people saying, that, oh, we want to meet Honorable, we want to meet Honorable. If you get to the Waik Hall, I'm sure you will meet up with him there. My name is Robicon. We are grateful. Thank you so much. Have a great day.